the girl from Stroud has come to Stroud. And later on, we're going to go and uh, to give a surprise visit to your mate Dave, aren't we? Yeah. So maybe you'll get to meet Dave too. Dave in the mortuary. Dave in the mortuary. Well, you might have heard me refer to him as Aussie Dave. Yeah, you have actually. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go off and see what other delights Mel can <laughs> thrill me with. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Now, no visit to Kent would be complete without taking Rebecca to where I once had a very good business. A thriving business for that matter. Back in the good old days, well actually the dark old days I should say, behind this fence is where I used to have my business. Um, <laughs> can't really see. But most of these arches I'd been underneath at one point and a very good friend of mine was at number five. I was at number three and four. And this one was number eight, and that one up there as well. You can't see it because they've got this great big thing up here. And the reason they got everyone to move out was because there was a big building there. It had an asbestos roof. They said, oh, everyone's got to move out. Once we've knocked the building down, you can all move back in. Well, that was a good 10 years ago, I guess. And now look at it. It really does break my heart to see all this buglier everywhere and to see it all being derelict. Absolutely a real shame because every one of these arches used to have a thriving business in including my own so i ended up living because my workshop was there i ended up living in this building here which looks a bit like a toilet from outside and it really does look like an old public toilet but if you come around here follow me come 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 it's all right this is the old mortuary a very good friend of mine, Dave, lives there now, but look what he's done to it. <laughs> he does house clearances. The trouble is, he takes people's junk out of their houses and uh, keeps it for himself. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh no. <laughs> that used to be my front door right there. Hang on. So that was my front door. That was my living room. And that was my kitchen. And that was the bathroom. Right, let's go back before someone nicks me van. Yeah. When I left that business, that's when I started truck driving. The amount of trucks that used to get stuck under this railway bridge, it was almost like a, a weekly event. Oh, really? Yeah, lorries used to come down here and get stuck under there. Because look at the height, it's only 13 foot, 4 metres. It looks like it's been um, like reinforced as well. No, it's just been hit a lot. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> right, let's go on. Driving around the street. There's a man on the side of the road looking down a hole. Mm. <laughs> it's Tim the mechanic. Okay. Very good mechanic. He's obviously busy. He's obviously busy. Oh, he's waving. What's this up here? Oh, this is uh, Rochester Bridge. And oh, wow. if you look to your right ish, actually, we'll go that way. You'll see Rochester Castle and Rochester Cathedral. The peak there, that's Rochester Cathedral. Oh, nice. We'll take a walk up there. Oh, and that is Rochester High Street, mm -hmm. where I used to play my guitar quite often in pretty much most of the pubs up there. Yeah, cool. Look, there's oh, the wall of the parking space. Oh, fucking lucky. What's that song? Parking space and all that. Rochester Castle. <laughs> we'll take a look around inside there on another visit. We've only got one day, so this is a real quick just flying back visit. Right, a flying visit. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, Rochester Castle. Let's go to Rochester Cathedral. This is Rochester Cathedral. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. It's stunning. Yeah, do you want to go inside and have a look around? Yeah. Just a real quick look. Yeah, as Just as nipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've only got an hour, so I've only got parking for an hour. What else is it that you want to do? Um, just show you the high street. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the high street's quite nice. Yeah, it looks quite, beautiful. Go on, let's go. <laughs> it's nice. Much to my shame, I can't really remember much about Rochester Castle, so um, 
we'll save that for another video. I'll actually take you in there and show you around. Be the tour guide. Yeah, and I can be the tour guide. <laughs> Impress us with his historical knowledge. Yeah, right. <laughs> I remember not so long ago standing here like this, just minding my own business, being all a bit inconspicuous, right by the castle gate, waiting to pick my moment. Sure enough, there were security guards here. Suddenly a scuffle broke out, and as the security guards moved forward to sort out the scuffle, I simply stuck in, just dived in like this, <laughs> and I got into a UB40 concert. But the heavens opened up, there was thunder, lightning, they did one song, and that cancelled us. Concerts. Really? Yeah. Oh god, so you only got so in for that one time song. I stood there waiting to sneak in was um yeah pretty much in vain. Oh that's annoying. Oh, there's the cathedral. There's the cathedral, so we're gonna make our way around. <laughs> Mel has got a very colourful past. Now here's an interesting building that I was telling Rebecca about a little while ago, and it is the uh, the wonky house. <laughs> Look at this. Here you go. It's very well, quite wide at the bottom. Well, look at that wall. <laughs> look at that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's going to Yeah, yeah. Wait till you see it from the beginning, it's from the front. Take a look at the front. Quite, you wouldn't want to be a builder down this street. There's no <laughs> straight line. It's like my van. <laughs> It's like my van. <laughs> it's exactly like it's your exactly van. It's exactly like my van. No straight line. Well, there's no straight lines here. Let's take a look at it from the front. Here you go. Look at the road. You can see it. Here you go. The house that, the house that Rebecca could have built. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's just yeah. completely like an earthquake's here. Yeah. You like, oh. you have stand, stand next to it. So, oh, hang on. Wait uh, I'll wait. And then, and then you can see just how wonky it is if Rebecca stands next to it. Yeah. Hang on, wait for the... Just the cool dude who didn't just yeah. shag you off. <laughs> oh, go stand over there. <laughs> That's right, thank you. Building here used to be a restaurant called Topes, and to get into that restaurant, you used to have a three month waiting list just to have a meal. I'm really surprised it's gone there. It's like some kind of bakery bistro. Rebecca is going to read out what that sign says. It's quite interesting. It says 1812 to 1870, Mr. Topes. This was the home of Mr. Tope, the chief verger of the cathedral in the mystery of Edwin Drood. It is the last building mentioned in the writings of Charles Dickens. And apparently Charles Dickens used to come to Yeah, know, yeah, watch, Rochester. Rochester is famous for Charles Dickens. Yeah. Well, the whole of this area is anyway. And I didn't know that, so that's really interesting. Oh, there you go. Right, next stop, I'll take you to a pub I used to play quite regular with my guitar. So this is the Eagle Tavern, world famous for its Wednesday night jamming sessions, starring yours truly. Every Wednesday night, that's where I used to play. Before Covid. Yeah, maybe one day again. And now, I've just looked through the window, it doesn't even look like they've got a stage in there anymore. Yeah. yeah. But I guess that's a sign of the times. Never mind. So here we are inside Rochester Cathedral. It's a bit different to Gloucester, Gloucester Cathedral, Rebecca said. Yeah, the just... stone is different, it's so different. There's a charity event on at the moment, so we can't actually go right down there. Raising money for children. I just, I don't ever understand all the different sections. I, I must learn out more about cathedrals and each nave and area has different uses. Because, you know, that's the main section up back through here, through that doorway. But then there's this whole other area, which is just the same again. This is the back of the organ. Look at yeah. the pipes. Imagine what that sounds like when it's going off. I like the angels. You see the angels right at the very top. Oh. Hmm. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I could 
just left it on the door, so I look at the door. Yeah, yeah, um. I wonder who was talking then, is this? <laughs> That's a little history lesson. <laughs> Really I bet whoever's buried there didn't realise that their tomb was going to be used for educational purposes years later. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my grave! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Quickly go down here. There's someone prone. Well, I think we'll stop filming now. Mel was actually saying as we were walking up, he said there's something interesting about this tree. And then there's actually this plaque here that says that it, it is a cat, cat, catalpa tree and it says it's sometimes known as the American Indian bean tree but it's not common species for Britain and the UK but it's over a hundred years old so someone will have brought this back from their travels planted it here and it's thriving and I mean we'll show you the beans they are literally are like string beans it's like a string bean tree yeah. I wouldn't want to taste them though, if they're 100 years old. <laughs> but it's, it's an incredible tree, I've never yeah, seen I've it. I've never seen I've one. I've never seen one, and maybe it's the only one in, in Britain, I don't know, it doesn't say that. Don't know. But... I, I knew it was something special about this tree, but that's why it's all fenced off, but I couldn't remember what was special about it. Yeah, and and all the times I've walked past it, I never noticed this plaque, much to my shame. So, uh, yeah, well done Rebecca. <laughs> It's just stunning. If there you, you come to Rochester, come and have a look because it is a really wonky tree. Yeah, and it's just yeah, and, and I've here. never I'll seen anything like it. There you go. I don't know if you can see it through the leaves. It's absolutely huge at its base, like yeah. an oak. Hang on, let's get that in there like that. It's like so an oak tree. See. Look at it. It's all gnarly. It's all gnarly, apparently. Right, coming in. We got to get back to the van. Okay, let's Only got an hour's out. parking. <laughs> I don't want to get a ticket. Let's go across there. Let's walk across now. I feel we'll be alright and get a better look at the tree from here. Look at that. Find the old. Find the gravestone. Find the old. And then have a view of Rochester Castle. Right, there's plenty more places to see in Kent, so let's get back to the van, get going. Make sure you are still alive. <laughs> Stroud. Hey? Stroud. Well, best of luck, yeah. <laughs> they say. Brought you all the way here and you now yeah. drop you off somewhere. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Probably, probably around the mortuary. Yeah, you walk. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's that bad. <laughs> all I can say is enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's Just what it is. Just enjoy what you're doing. You don't need to do anything else. No. You don't need it. Just go and go away and do what you've got to do. Life's too short. Life's too short. I just loaded anyway, so you can't <laughs> I haven't yet seen any of it. Ain't Rub a couple well, of pennies that's together. That's he's, he's, he's a bit, he is a bit tired. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I call him Scrooge. You know, I couldn't even get the cup of coffee where he's down here. <laughs> you know what I mean? He wouldn't even do that unless yeah, it was on a Friday. I know. <laughs> that was the only time. I know. 
Well, that was my hometown Rochester. That was my good old friend Charlie ripping the pee out of me as usual. But now the time is cracking on, so we need to go and meet my daughter for dinner. We're going to have a quick walk around Blue Water. Rebecca's never been to Blue Water Shopping Centre. So it'll be exciting. <laughs> for you, maybe. <laughs> Not so much for me. <laughs> I don't mind. Let's have a look, look, walk around the shops. Yeah, have a little musey. Yeah, it'll be food. fun. And then once we've been around Blue Water, we're going to drop my daughter off and then head off to the Farnborough, where there's an outdoor event called the Fully Charged Outdoor Show. And it's all about electric cars and electric vehicles. Pretty much every electrical vehicle there is. Yeah, and including, devices. Including, and devices, including electric vans. And that's what we're interested in. Yeah. We're going to have a look at some up-to-date modern electric vans i think yeah and yeah. sort of all the technology that comes along with it as yeah, well I'm pretty like, yeah. yeah it'd be good yeah pretty interesting i think yeah. so anyway if you like this video do give us a thumbs up don't forget if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing why not consider subscribing to rebecca's channel too and we'll see you in farnborough for now Woo! Bye.